I got a message the other day, and it was from a gentleman who was wanting to know whether or not he can run Money Dance software, uh, which is a personal finance application, via the Linuxulator, or the Linux ABI, in FreeBSD. And he says, hi, it's nice to see you back with your videos. Well, thank you very much. He says, can you help? I am trying to run Money Dance software application on FreeBSD using Linux compatibility mode, but it does not work. I have a lot of data, hence cannot able to switch to other alternatives like new cache, etc. Would appreciate any pointers as this is my primary blocker for me to switch completely from, well, to FreeBSD from OS X. And yes, uh, I'll give you a quick demonstration. Like many things, uh, what might work for me may not work for you. Uh, in this video, I will try running it on Wine. May work for some people, may not. And then we'll run it via the Linux later. And again, it may work for some people, may not. It it works for me. So we'll see how it goes. Right, so the first thing we do is go to moneydance.com and we go to the download section at the top and it will take us to the Windows, Mac OS and Linux options. And for this video, like I say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try the Wine version and then we're going to go on to the Linux one. And specifically, we need to download the install script, not the, not the dev file. So we click on the Windows version first. Right, that's downloaded. And like I say, we go and we download the install script for Linux. And once that's done, we go to the folder where we downloaded it, in this case, a RAM disk. I'm just going to open up a terminal in the folder so we can see what we're doing via the command line. And it's ls will give us both files that we downloaded. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to see if we can install Money Dance for the Windows version via Wine. So there's Wine. And again, Wine64, and just copy and paste that, and we'll see if it does it. I've had quite a lot of success via Wine recently, so uh, hopefully we can. Well, it seems to be installing. And it seems to have stopped, so we'll wait a while. And there's the error. And it seems to be a Java virtual machine could not be... Yeah, it looks like it's having problems finding Java. Oh well, we'll uh, we'll try the Linux one. Before you can use the Linux later in FreeBSD, you just might need to tweak your system a little and add a few uh, entries to your fstab, rc.conf, and loader.conf, and you can see them on screen there. And the ones in the pink box, the light pink box, are the commands that you can load the kernel modules in now. They won't persist over reboot, so the ones in the grey is what will carry them on. And you may need to make some of the directories um, listed in the grey box, you know, the, the proc, the sys, etc. Just be careful when you're editing the FS tab. If you make a mistake, you might not better boot into the system and it could get a little bit messy. So make sure your spelling or your, your entries are correct. And the, these ones work for me. Um, it, not every Linux program works, but for me it works. And so, you know, I'm happy with this. Right, so once we've got that up and going... I'm just going to list them out again. Uh, we're not going to try the Linux version. So let's put sh and then put the, sh the script name. Seems to be unpacking the various bits. Welcome to the Money Dance setup wizard. Okay, that looks good. Hopefully this will work. And it installs to your home directory. You could change that to anywhere you want, of course, but we're going to leave it in the home directory for now. We don't want any sim links because we, uh, we're not running it as root and it won't, probably won't work. So I'm just going to uh, untick that. And seems to be, oh, we're done. That was quick. And the setup is finished. All right, then let's have a look. All right, so we open up the Money Dance folder in the home directory that we created. And you can see there's a few files there. But I'm just going to open up a terminal ls 
We want the Money Dance application itself, so... Uh, but dot slash Money Dance, and it should work. Mm. Oh, there it is. Now, I've never used this before, so I wouldn't know what working uh, and what isn't. But it looks to me like everything's there. Um, all the various components of it seem to be there from what I've seen online. Uh, the menus are uh, very actual, very brisk, very nice. There's the version. So I think it's the latest. Uh, various credits, etc. So yeah, I mean... There are some free alternatives, of course. I think this one you have to pay for. You have to register and pay. I mean, that's fine. And I think one of the, the attractions of this particular one is that you can um, go online with it and to your bank account. I'm not sure the ins and outs. The gentleman in question will know. But it looks um, it looks like it works. And let's have a look at the... Uh, what did I see it when we were going past... Uh, I'll open that one. Oh, I see. I know where it is. Uh, he says, "Manage extensions." Now, one of the things that I'll, this looks quite good is that there's a you can in, it, load extensions which give it some extra functionality. And where did I say before? MoneyPay, PayPal importer. Now that looks interesting. Import transactions. From PayPal. So that might be something to uh, worth looking at, actually. So it looks to me like it's um, all these. I've not tested these. It looks like that these will probably work. The application, it seems to work properly. So hopefully this answers your question and you can move to FreeBSD and import all your data. Do it on a separate hard drive, of course, or a separate machine and let us know how you get on. It would be interesting to know. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.